We are live on Yonkers Voice, and today our guest, today our guest is Jimmy Torres. Jimmy, yes, thank sir. you for taking the time. Thank you for now, having me. Now, I met Jimmy about a month ago. Uh, you know, we were talking. I like to talk. So I said, what do you do? He told me what, uh, you know, the things that he does. And I said, well, that would make a great episode, you know, because we, can, we need to focus on the positive things. Yes. We need to put the spotlight on people like you and, you know, that can share the good stuff. You know what I mean? Yes. So, Jim, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is uh, Jimmy Torres. I'm a fitness enthusiast. I, uh, I like to work out. <laughs> I like to work out. I like to eat healthy. And, uh, yeah, I just like to try everything at uh, the best of my ability. Work out and eat, eat healthy. Yes, sir. That's the secret. Yeah. for a long life. Yes. You know, if you exercise, if you eat healthy, you can add a few years at the end of your life. Yes. Now, when you talk about eat healthy, I like rice and beans, I like chicken, mashed potato, I like all the things the doctor tell me I shouldn't be eating. Yes. <laughs> tell us, what, what does that mean? Because a lot of people say, well, I eat healthy. I eat yucca. I eat... Tell us, what does that mean? Well, it's important. Uh, when it comes to eating healthy to get a nice balanced diet and uh, I grew up on rice beans and chicken I still eat rice beans and chicken but portion control is the most important part um, and what about the exercise part you know I see that you're very well fit so you've been exercising for f did, the, did it just start it or something happened and you said now I have to exercise well, I woke up one morning and I said, uh, you know what, I need to shed a couple, a couple pounds and uh, that slowly started transitioning into other aspects of working out and fitness and here I am. I started a little over a year ago and uh, I still have a long way to go. What do you mean by a couple pounds that you needed to, were they like maybe 50, 60? I started my journey last year, February 8th, at 242 pounds, and uh, now, April 5th, I'm 168 pounds. So, wow. uh, I would say a couple pounds. A couple of pounds. <laughs> now, Jamie, if, uh, you know, there is people watching us now, as you can see the conversation is going, and lots of people are going to be watching us during the day. Yes. And they're going to be, some of them are going to be saying, he has a point, you know, maybe I should try it out. Maybe I want to contact him. Maybe he goes to a gym. Maybe he comes to my gym. How does that work? If I wanted to hire you, how does that work? Where can I find you? Tell me anything. Well, I'm a firm believer that fitness uh, should be free. Um, the individual has to make the effort. I can tell you how to do a push-up, but you have to do the push-up. So I can't do the push-up for you. <laughs> and... Um, it's important to always have uh, what I call the trinity in life, and that's dedication, inspiration, and discipline. Um, it doesn't matter whether that's fitness or education or any business you're striving for. If you have that trinity, you're guaranteed success. So money sh is not and should not be the important thing. You know, some people say, well, I went to visit a couple of gyms, and uh, this one has the top-of-the-line machines and this and that, does it really make a difference if I go to the, a machine made of gold or a machine made of steel? No, sir. No, sir. It does not. A uh, majority of my progression has come outside, not in the gym. Um, it doesn't matter what aerobic workout you prefer, whether that's running, cycling. Uh, I prefer to jump rope. Um, just consistency is the key. You don't need a million dollar equipment, you just need a million dollar effort. So guys, the secret, you already got it. What you need to succeed, you already got it. Yeah. That bank account that you might not have is not what you need. No. What you need is determination and focus. Yes. Now, I always, I use often a, a little quote when it comes to religion. People seek God elsewhere. And I tell people all the time, the God that, you're, that you are seeking already lives within yourself.
Okay. So when it comes to exercise, yes. it's applicable. Yes. You know, for you to succeed, for you to eat healthy, for you to be fit, you don't need to go to a thousand dollars a year gym. No, sir. We got free parks. Yep. Get involved with people like you that yes. can, you know, motivate you because sometimes motivation is good. Yes. You know? But you already have what it takes. Now, where do you exercise? Well, I want to give a huge, huge shout out. We live in a beautiful city, Yonkers, and uh, we have these fitness parks scattered throughout the entire park. I believe, um, I think it was Jada Kiss and Styles P who I was there. were behind that, and that's where my journey started, uh, right over by uh, the water tower in Nodine Hill. Uh, I would do a couple of one pull up and one dip turned into two, two turned into four, four turned into more. I would finish out the workout with a run over at Fleming Park. And uh, you, don't, you don't need to invest money into fitness. All you need to do is invest time. Um, you can wake up and say, I wish I had a million dollars today. I don't. I wake up and say, I wish I had a million hours today. Well, that's nice. That's nice. And I, and I tell people that as well. You know, a lot of the times I talk to people on the street about kids, you know, uh, they tell me, oh, we don't have options, we don't have these, we don't have that for the kids. I think those are excuses, Jimmy. Yes. Okay. I think those are excuses. Look, I go around, I go to PAL and I see tons of programs. Yes. I go to the Yonkers Police Department, Yonkers Force. They have a, an awesome hockey program yes. free it's free for the kids of Yonkers they don't have to pay a single thing they don't have to buy equipment they don't have to buy jerseys everything is provided okay yes. if you go to YMCA YWCA very very low cost okay yes. some people say oh, I don't have the money I see you at the bar every day okay and uh, perhaps joining your child in one of those things yes. a low cost it's good or join your kids at one of these places where there is no cost. And I have spoken to many people in those, uh, those organizations, and they say, listen, if a kid comes over that does not have the money, that kid will not return out. We will find him something. Yes. So what it needs for you to succeed, for you to train, you're, you already have it. Right within. Right within. Now, are you there all the time? Do you have a special time that you exercise? Let's say uh, you change my mind. You know, that switch that ah, I don't want it, I don't know. Because of this conversation, you just switch that, uh, that switch and I said, I'm going to do it. Yes, yes. Um, so it's important, um, it's important to whatever you do in life, just strive for it. Wherever you can find an opening, instead of surfing Instagram, instead of surfing Facebook and losing countless hours on YouTube, I always uh, try to just focus on myself and I go outside. If not, uh, I hit up a couple friends and we meet up at a gym, uh, LA Fitness on Ridge Hill or Blink in Cross County. Uh, Planet Fitness is also an amazing gym. Um, and just make the effort, make the effort it doesn't stop there. When you get home, eat a little less. <laughs> but, but do you have a schedule? Because to me, if I wanted to join you, it would be a little difficult because today you might be here, tomorrow you might be there. Do you have a place where you're always at? Or do you have a system that I can reach out to you and say, where are you today, Jim, so I can go and start my program? How do people find you? Let's say the name. So people are now on their computers, on their phones. And you guys can go right now, not later, not later, now. Open that Instagram, look for that name, and follow. So you're following Jim. So tell them the name of that. Oh, you can follow me at, on Instagram at Jiminy Trickets. That's J-I-M-I-N-Y-T-R-I-C-K-E-T-S. I am always available. Uh, tips, tricks, jokes, I'm always there, guys. You can reach me there. Now, you know what? You think, you see, how, where are you? You see where you're sitting? Yes, sir. You see where I'm sitting? Yes, sir. That is a space, right? Yes, sir. Guess why that space exists? That's a tough one. It's a tough one because we have a surprise. Prince, 
Get over here, let's do some sit-ups. <laughs> come on. Priest, let's show. No, 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 no. Priest, come on down. Priest, no, no. Please, come on down. They already asking me. Yes, yes. Come on. Priest. No, no, priest, right now. Maybe two sit-ups. Priest. You're not going to let me down. I'm going to send somebody after you. I can't do it right now. Okay, so let's go, please. Next, next example. He's refusing to come. Next, next, you see? Next so how can we motivate you guys to do sit-ups if my associate, my partner, okay, refuses to do it? Does it mean that he does not believe in Jimmy's uh, product uh, philosophy? The best way to show it is by you to come over here and do at least one sit-up. At least, Prince, at least one sit-up. Come on. Next time. No, I, I am going to get him. <laughs> Give me a second. Next one, next one. <laughs> right here, Let's Prince. No, lay down. No, 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 lay down. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. And teamwork makes the dream work, so you're not in this alone. That's so that's I'll it. I'll be right here. And that's one. That's two. two. That's three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. That's, that's good. Neat. That's how that's to start. Neat. No, the, the push-ups now. Uh, that makes, that makes <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, it's great job. Great job. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Now, Prince... Prince showed us how push sit ups are done. Yes. Okay? And a journey yes. of a thousand miles yes. begins with a single step. Yes. He took that step. Yes. So, Prince, you need to get in touch with Jimmy, find yeah. out when is the next session so you can do, go there and continue. And we're going to document this. Okay? I want to see 10, then 20, then 40, then 60. So thank you. Thank you for being a sport team. Thank you for being a sport. Thank you. Okay. But let's, let's talk about more stuff. Look, since I have you here, what people motivated you to do this, Jim? Who are your, your role models, people that you look up to? Let's learn a little bit about Jimmy the man. One of my role models is, uh, is a very, very famous... Um, Military personnel, uh, he, I think he, his record was broken for pull-ups, is David Goggins. Um, he just has an iron mind, and uh, he's a bit aggressive, so he's not everybody's cup of tea. But uh, I found a place at home watching his videos. I also enjoy watching our best, our greatest anabolic cook, that's Greg Doucette on YouTube, teaches you on how to eat large portions of food uh, that are very low-calorie, uh, packed with nutrients. Um, there's also Johnny Shreve. Johnny Shreve on YouTube uh, teaches you about form. A lot of people just are told how to do something, but not why. And I believe that it's important to know why. And uh, I also look like you continue saying within. I look within. If you strive to be better today than you was yesterday, uh, it's a, you can put your feet on the moon. What food should we stay away from specific that are unhealthy, not good for you? Well, everything in doses. Um, a lot of people would say stay away from sugar, stay away from sodas and juice and all that stuff is, it's okay. Just lower your intake, lower your intake um, and worry about heart health. The heart is the most important muscle we have. It's not the bicep, it's not the legs, it's not the washboard abs, it's your heart. So take care of your hearts, guys. Do some cardio, make sure you're getting a, a breathing exercises and you'll notice that if you take care of your heart, your heart will take care of your mind. Hmm. Well, that, that's profound, okay? You should try it. I am going to try it. I'll tell you one thing, I have diabetes and uh, I've been on medication for many, many, many years. Uh, the other day, my diabetes was at uh, 425. The 
the normal, it's around 75 to 90. I was at 400. Anything could have happened. Yes. So I went to see my doctor, and he told me the secret to uh, be healthier, the secret to stop taking all those medications is by exercise. Yes. So I bought uh, an exercise machine, and that's important to know which exercise machine do you buy for, uh, for what you need. So I was thinking about buying a bicycle. Yes. Doctor said, I do not recommend a bicycle because you're going to sit on it, it's a little low. Yes, you exercise, but then you, your back is going to be killing you. Yes. So buy one of those, I don't know how they call it. It's, a, it's also a bike, but it's much lower. You sit straight. It keeps you, the posture. It up. keeps the posture. You lay down on the, on the back, and you just pedal. Yes. And I've been doing this for uh, about a month. And uh, my, uh, my sugar now, it's about an average 175 to 190, wow. down from 425. Wow, look at that. Okay. That's amazing. And uh, so exercising. Yes. Exercising is the medicine for many, many things. Yes. And it prevents many illness. Yes. Okay. I'm very strong on prevention. Yes. Proaction instead of reaction. Yes. And uh, actions, not words. Yes. Okay. So is there anything else, Jimmy? Anything else that, uh, because this is the, Thousands of people are going to be watching you, and yes. they're going to listen, and they, they might say, I want to get in touch with Jim. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Well, I want to say I am 30 years old. I just began this journey at 29, um, 30 now. It's never too late to start anything. Uh, don't get stuck in that state of mind. I, I could have, I would have, I should have. That, I say, is... That I call darkness. Get out of the darkness. Leave that behind you. Focus on what's in front of you and just attack it. Attack it. Strive. Succeed, guys. Guys, there is nothing stopping you but you yes. from starting your journey. And the good thing is you have somebody who can follow your journey with you yes. and be behind you to motivate you. Yes. So find the, r the right person to tag along the right person that can motivate you because yes you have what you need to succeed to be healthier yes. but sometimes having the right motivator yes okay might have a very powerful consequences yeah. you know because somebody's pushing me to go through you know comes that moment i don't want to do no more i'm tired like prince he didn't want to do no more but he felt the vibration yeah. prince because Prince you came to do it. 102, he did 10. He did 10, yes. Okay, so motivation, it's motivation. important. We're just joking around, but at the same time we're serious because we can joke and can give a serious message. Yes, yes. So exercise. Exercise. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can get a Yonkers Voice team and meet in a park somewhere yes. and go for a walk. You be the, the leader, the, the instructor, and tell us what to do. So, okay. let's do it. so guys, if you would like to participate on a Yonkers Voice exercise workshop, let us know. Comment if you are ready, willing, and have the time. I don't want people to say, yeah, 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 never show up. Okay, we make a sacrifice. Yes. And when you eat right, when you exercise, you invest in yourself. In yourself. Okay. When you just put money in the bank, oof, you might be loaded with money in a few years. But you got no help to enjoy nope. those, those dollars. So invest in yourself. Not so much money, but good health. Yes. That's the most important part. Good health. And like I said, guys, take care of the mind. Take care of the heart. And everything else will just come into fruition. Candice Torres. She says, I'm so proud of you, Cus. <laughs> Me and Jay are rooting for you. And so Thank is you, the rest Candace. of Yonkers Voice. Yes. I'm glad and I'm proud to bring people like Jimmy for the sit down to share the positive. Remember guys, I only share videos once. You are the one sharing those videos thousands of times. Share away, okay. share. And when it's something negative, you guys share it, share it, share it. Look, this is the interviews that I really would like you to share. The positive stuff, the thing that can motivate us, the audience, 
to move, to change for the best. Yes. Things that you can motivate the youngest ones in the right direction. This is the stuff I wish, I'm sure Jimmy wish, yes. and Prince behind the camera, that you would share. Yes. Okay? Make the positive go viral. Yes, we put up everything. Sometimes our image is not that great. But guys, they are reality. I don't make the news. I only report the news. That's all that I do. Powerful images have a purpose. If look at what's going on around the world today. If a reporter was just to write in black and white, there is a war in Ukraine, Lots of people are dying. Yeah, you get the idea. But when they show those horrible pictures, it gets a whole different reaction from you, from our leaders, and from everywhere. So images are powerful. Yes. We at Yonkers Voice will continue to do the things that we do, showing you things that are real and raw. But we will also do interviews like this that are positive and motivational. And we hope that you will help us sharing. You will help spread the word about the positive stuff. If you need my help in any way, if you are a person out there that does something positive and, and good for the community, and you need to sit down with us, contact us, yv at yonkersvoice.com. Tell us what you do, tell us why we should interview you, and tell us for how long you've been doing. because. I hope you understand that we cannot interview every single person no. that sends us an email. Yes. We have to screen, we have to find out, okay, this is good, let's do this, let's do that. But contact us. Yonkers voice, it's not my voice. Yonkers voice is your voice. We are the platform where you can come and speak about the things that you feel are important, things that you feel out of concern, things that you think that the people should know. We try to stay away from personal matters. If you have a problem with uh, your neighbor, look, we're not going to cover that, <laughs> okay? But if you have a problem that affects many people in the community, then yes, we might cover that. So this is for the community, for things that help the community and makes us a better community. Thank you for, be, for all of you for being in Yonkers Voice through all these years. Thank you, Jimmy, for taking the time. Thank it you was for a pleasure. Me. And uh, let's work on that uh, workshop. Definitely. YV exercise workshop. Definitely. Okay? Prince will be there. Okay. I will be there. Okay. I'm not sure if I can do the whole thing, but I can tell you one thing. I will give it the best that I can. And the next day, I will try to give it a little better than what I did the day before. Yes. And so on. Yep. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for I having me. I appreciate it.